sir, uh, you told in the session about the stone pelting incidents, and you told uh, that government is authorized to do something, and they should do that. And what about more about it? Yes, I think as I said, more than tap water, health, education, the one aspect that every citizen expects above everything is law and order. If you maintain law and order, then you maintain all the other five or six things. If you don't maintain law and order, then your lives are destroyed. And it takes decades to build a house, it takes decades to build something, your office, your stall. When everything is destroyed, when people die, when your family members are not able to earn and give that thing, what use is tap water, health, Ayushman Bharat, Ujwala? So governments have to realize what Yogi Adityanath is doing is setting a trend for others and you saw it in uh, Madhya Pradesh how people wanted to copy Yogi Adityanath in terms of maintaining law and order. I am not justifying that the means should be there that illegally you bulldoze things but legally you have to maintain and put your foot down. There were 800 Shobha Yatras in Uttar Pradesh, 800, not one was pelted with stone, not one. 50% Muslim population, 50 million Muslims in Uttar Pradesh. How do you explain this? So writing is on the wall. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and other, what about other BJP ruled state? You are uh, uh, depicting as a model Yogi yes. Adityanath. Yes. And what about other BJP? You have to learn that you can't straddle two stools. You can't have law and order on one hand and say that no, you're going to have appeasement as well. It doesn't work like that. You saw what happened in Hubli, what is happening in Karnataka, what is happening even when the government is institutionalizing the acts that have been passed by the Congress regimes. For example, that in the vicinity of Hindu temples, non-Hindu shops cannot be set up. BJP got a lot of flack for that, but actually it was the Cong it's the Congress bill. It was passed during uh, Siddharamayya or uh, SM Krishna. When people don't, when you're not, you're not able to, con, uh, you know, convey this to the public, then there is something wrong. That has to be corrected. And why look for an example outside your party? Look at Yogi Adityanath. He is a member of your party. I mean, if you can't emulate him, then what is the point of emulating others? During an uh, election campaign, Yogiji said that don't allow UP to turn to Kerala or Bangla Bangladesh. Yeah. And what about your uh, co comment on law and order situation in Kerala, particularly about political killings? Yeah, so, I mean, wherever you have communists, you have political killings. That is a fact. We saw that in Bengal, spectacularly, where if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the was it Buddha Dev Buddha Dev Bhattacharya who was the then Chief Minister of Bengal. He on the floor of the Bengal Legislative, Legislative Assembly he accepted that there were twenty seven thousand political killings in Bengal, not one or two, twenty seven thousand. So communism is built on the bloodshed of millions. In fact, communism authoritatively has killed 100 million people around the world, 100 million. Mao alone has killed 63 million people of his own Chinese people, 63 million. So when you have a party professing that ideology, violence is not going to be far behind. And this communist style is now copying by the Islamic fundamentalists in Kerala. They are also started to kill uh, by making a schedule. Yes. And, uh, this is very dangerous. In fact, I was just telling the genesis of communism for better or for worse was anti-religion. In fact, as uh, Marx said, religion is the opium for the masses. So they derided religion. Now, over the years, because of their reducing power, they have mixed up things with, uh, you know, religious fanatics or with religions. So this, this very noxious mix is now coming together and pulling them. So, but this is very dangerous for the fabric of the society. Because you can have, you can have whatever religion you want. Your constitution gives you the independence to profess your religion, practice it. You can't bring it on the streets. You can't have mayhem on the streets. I'm sorry, that's not, you know, so, but when you have government supporting it, what does that tell you? It tells you that it is craving to maintain power, to retain power at any cost. And that is what will make citizens suffer.